Welcome students. In this video lecture, we are going to learn how to form difference equations. So, to start with, let us have a glance of uh, difference equation definition first. A difference equation is actually a relationship between differences of an unknown function at one or more general values of the organisms. It is for instance, if you take a sequence yn, a relationship between subsequent like that is consecutive uh, members of the sequence can be written as your difference equation. So here you have an example yn plus 2 plus 3 yn plus 1 minus 2 yn equal to 0. So here yn denotes the main sequence that is uh, y of n, yn we can represent. So this when you look at this equation, it gives a relationship between uh, previous and uh, the next consecutive terms of the sequence. So that is why this is known as your difference equation. It's a relationship between differences of the unknown function. That's all. Now let us see how to form your difference equation in this lecture. So for example, let us take this problem. Form the difference equation for the sequence yn which is a plus b into 4 power n. So the given sequence is yn equal to a plus b into 4 power n. So mark the given equation as equation 1. Now if this is the sequence uh, sequence yn, what is going to be the sequence yn plus 1? Because we need to form a difference equation. So for that we need the next consecutive terms that is yn plus 1, yn plus 2. At least we need 3 terms, consecutive terms. So we are going to uh, write what is yn plus 1. So here in the place of n, uh, we are substituting n plus 1. See if this is yn, yn plus 1 will be a plus b into 4 power n plus 1. And this 4 power n plus 1 can be written as 4 power n into 4. See here 4 power n plus 1 can be written as 4 power n into 4. So this equation let us call as uh, uh, 2. Similarly, let us go to yn plus 2. So what is y n plus 2? Here in the place of n, we need to replace n plus 2. So a plus b into 4 power n plus 2, which is a plus b into, now look at this, 4 power n plus 2 can be splitted as 4 power n into 4 power 2. What is 4 power 2? 16. So after splitting like this, you mark that as equation 3. Now, from these three equations, 1, 2 and 3, let us eliminate the constants a and b using the determinant method which we have already studied. Uh, it's very basic thing. So take the determinant method to eliminate the constants between these three equations. So left, the first column will be the left side sequences yn, yn plus 1, yn plus 2. And the second column will be the coefficients of this uh, particular term that is here you have a see you can eliminate the common terms like uh, you can mentally imagine like striking off the common terms a a a so what is remaining here 1 1 1 so that's what we are taking and writing here 1 1 1 similarly the third column will be obtained from the uh, next term that is b into 4 power n so here you have b into 4 power n here also you have b into 4 power n. Here also you have b into 4 power n. So what will be, this is a common term with for all the three equations. Uh, let us take and write the coefficients of these common terms. That is, uh, apart from these common terms, if you mentally strike these common terms, what are the terms remaining here? 1, 4, 16. So that comes as the third column. So this is how you have to form the determinant and of course which is equal to 0. Now after this just it is expanding the determinant. So it is yn into 16 minus 4. Expanding by the first column here. Minus yn plus 1 into it's going to be 16 minus 1. Plus yn plus 2 into see here 4 minus 1. So it's simple expansion of determinant. And then uh, solving this. So 12yn and 15 this is 3yn plus 2. And if you look at this, there is a common factor here, 3. So, cancelling the common factor, you have yn plus 2 minus yn plus 1 plus 4 yn equal to 0. And look at this, this is only known as difference equation. So, this is the required difference equation in this problem.
the relationship between the consecutive terms in the sequence. Now let us take another problem. Develop the difference equation from the sequence f of n which is a into 2 power n plus b into minus 3 power n. So let us apply the same concept. First take and write the given sequence f of n and from this let us find what is f of n plus 1. See here in the sequence name is given as f of n. So we are going to f of n plus 1 the next term. So if this is f of n f of n plus 1 will be changing all the terms of n as n plus 1. See writing n as n plus 1. So here you have like this and this 2 power n plus 1 can be splitted as 2 power n into 2. Similarly minus 3 power n plus 1 can be written as minus 3 power n into minus 3. See here we have splitted and written. Now mark this equation as equation 2 and f of n plus 2. Now let us uh, go to write f of n plus 2 which is see this is f of n so f of n plus 2 will be replacing the n as n plus 2. See here n becomes n plus 2. So this is f of n plus 2. Now again splitting this 2 power n plus 2 as 2 power n into 2 square. What is 2 square? 4. Plus here when you see minus 3 power n plus 2 can be written as minus 3 power n into minus 3 squared. What is minus 3 squared? 9. Yeah. So this you mark as equation 3. So this is 1, 2, 3. So now after writing these three equations, let us again use the same determinant method to eliminate the constants capital A and capital B from these equations. So the first column will become the left side terms that is f of n, f of n plus 1, f of n plus 2 taken right in the first column and in the second column the common after striking the common terms whatever is remaining that see here when all in all the three a into 2 power n is common so when you look at this a into 2 power n is common a into 2 power n is common here also a into 2 power n is common so the remaining terms will be 1 2 4 so that comes as the second column now the third column will be from here we have to collect that is uh, striking of after striking the common terms. So here the common terms for all the three equations is b minus 3 power n, b minus 3 power n, b minus 3 power n. So when you remove those common terms between all the three, the remaining will be 1 minus 3, 9. So that comes as the third column. See here? Yeah. So this is this determinant equal to 0. So now just we need to expand the determinant. So f expanding by the first column you have f of n into f of n into 18 minus minus 12 so plus 12 minus f of n into minus f of n into 9 minus 4 plus f of n plus 2 into uh, minus 3 minus 2 equal to 0. So adding the simplifying the numbers you have the equation and uh, this is 30, this is 5 and this is minus 5. Now when you look at this, you can take minus 5 as common factor out. And the equation becomes f of n plus 2 plus f of n plus 1 minus 6 f of n equal to 0. Which is the required difference equation. So here you have a relationship between f of n, f of n plus 1, f of n plus 2. That is why it is called difference equation. Now let us go to do one more problem. Derive the difference equation from un equal to a plus b into n into minus 3 power n. So here when you look at you have a multiplicative term. But uh, before starting uh, uh, the arguments like uh, we can write this into after multiplying you can split this into two terms like this a into minus 3 power n plus b n into minus 3 power n. So first split into two terms. And then proceed for u n plus 1, u n plus 2, etc. So u n plus 1 now will be in the place of n, we have to replace n plus 1. n becomes n plus 1. So this n also becomes n plus 1. So writing like this. In the next stage, this minus 3 whole power n plus 1, you can split as minus 3 power n into minus 3. Like this, you can write. Similarly, minus 3 whole power n plus 1, this one you can write as minus 3 into minus 3 power n minus 3 into minus 3 power n now similarly proceeding further for un plus 2 see this is un so un plus 2 will be 
changing the terms n as n plus 2. So here n becomes n plus 2, n becomes n plus 2. Here you have like this. See here. And this minus 3 power n plus 2 can be written as minus 3 power n into minus 3 squared. So what is minus 3 squared? 9. Similarly here minus 3 power n plus 2 becomes minus 3 power n minus 3 power n into minus 3 squared. What is minus 3 squared? 9. So now we have expanded and written clearly the three equations 1, 2 and 3. Now we need to eliminate a and b from these three. We need to eliminate a and b from these three. So eliminating a and b from the equations 1, 2, 3 we get again first column will be the left side functions or the sequences un, un plus 1, un plus 2 sits as the first column. The second column will be the coefficient of this term after removal of the common factors. So here the common term will be a into minus 3 power n. So here also you have a into minus 3 power n. Here also a into minus 3 power n. So like striking off the common term, you will have 1 minus 3, 9. 1 minus 3, 9. So that comes as the second column. See here. And the third column will be the la coefficient of the last term. So here, and uh, we need to remove the common factors. So b minus 3 power n is common, I think, in all the three terms, three equations. So b minus 3 power n. So here also, b minus 3 power n. b minus 3 power n. So this b and minus 3 power n is common in all the three equations. So when you remove those common terms, you get the remaining will be here you have n, here you have uh, uh, minus 3 into n plus 1. So here you have 9 into n plus 2. So n minus 3 n plus 1, 9 into n plus 2. That will sit in the third column. See, n minus 3 n plus 1, 9 into n plus 2. So this is how we need to eliminate using determinant method. And of course, determinant we should equate to 0. Now, Expanding the determinant, we have un into, expanding by the first column, un into minus 3 into this. So, minus 27n plus 2, minus minus plus 27n plus 1, minus un plus 1 into, minus un plus 1 into, see, hiding these two, and 9 into n plus 2, minus 9 into n, 9 into n plus 2, minus 9 into n, plus un plus 1 into, un plus 1 into, minus 3n to n plus 1, See, minus 3 into n plus 1 minus this minus 3n. So, it becomes plus 3n equal to 0. So, if you just simplify, this is a very simple simplification. You get like this. See, minus 27n plus 27n will be cancelled. So, here it is minus 27 into 2 plus 27 into 1. So, it is minus 27. So, similarly here, 9 into n minus 9n will be cancelled. So, here you will have 18. Similarly here minus 3n and plus 3n will be cancelled and inside minus 3 will be there. So this is the last answer. So taking the minus 3 common here, un plus 2 plus 6 un plus 1 plus 9 un equal to 0 will be the last uh, simplification simplified one which is the required difference equation. So this is how we need to form difference equations using determinant method. I think you people would have learned the concepts thoroughly. So using whatever you have learned, try these problems. Thank you.